Hello, planet Earth. It's so nice to see you. I've been away. I've been on vacation, actually, and I'm sick of it, to be quite honest. Our special guest is Luna Mano, who is a costume designer. Is that a correct description? Well, I prefer to say costume sculptor. Sculptor. Okay. Now, you brought it. We're going to show off, we're going to show like a videotape. Mm -hmm. What does this tape consist of? Um, her name is Rosa Tsukinoyo, mm -hmm. and she's a friend of mine, mm -hmm. and she's a performer. Mm -hmm. And she, uh, her concept is like uh, her body gets into the doll, doll world. Mm -hmm. So her body becomes object, mm -hmm. looks like a doll. And uh, she's wearing my costume to mm -hmm. do her performance mm -hmm. in Tokyo. Did you do the stage setting too? Did you? Uh, yeah. Really? Yes. And uh, loads of, sometimes Loz has a concept, I have a concept. Uh -huh. so we talk each other, uh -huh. and usually we have the same taste or same um, theme of the performance, so no problem. No problem, no mm -hmm. fist fights? No. Oh, that's so nice to hear. Well, maybe we should watch the tape, shall we? Okay. Let's watch the tape. Mm -hmm. Okay, thank okay, you. Thank watch you. the tape.
So that Rosa, she does, does she write her own music? Mm -hmm. And uh, sometimes her friend, who name is uh, Keisuke, does. Uh -huh. So some of them Rosa does. Okay, we brought some live people. Mm -hmm. I think they're called models mm -hmm. for your costumes. Okay. So you, what's the first costume? And the first costume, this is the title. Um, mnemonics of the of daytime and nighttime. And this is like a diary. Um, I really like diary and mm -hmm. how to cover one. So I put some diary, put in dress, and inside is like a object. Mm -hmm. um, so maybe without without word, something like that. Do, when you're standing up, when somebody wears a costume, do people actually read it? I mean, do you allow people to open the boxes and stuff? <laughs> yeah. Yeah. No, it must be very good for bus riding and stuff like that. <laughs> That's very nice. Very nice. Um, the, uh, the objects in the box, are they something personal to you? Well, yeah, each, each, has a, each one has a meaning and uh, it's very symbolic. Uh huh. We're going to have another model coming up. Um, what, what, um, what's the next costume going to be like? Okay, next one is... Uh, and I think it's so great you have cue cards for, your, for us. <laughs> I like visual aid. <laughs> Title is Searching, searching for the uh, Musical Instrument. Uh -huh. And this is a very uh, complicated one. And this costume made by four pieces. Mm -hmm. Letter, uh, case, firing case, and uh, cape and blouse. Uh -huh. And uh, each one has a uh, wearing instructions, mm -hmm. and if uh, people want to wear this dress, mm -hmm. uh, has to follow the uh, inst uh, wearing instructions. Mm -hmm. And uh, so, number one, uh, it said like uh, you have to follow the uh, instruction, and mm -hmm. uh, you have to look for the violin case. Mm -hmm. And in the violin case, said uh, you have to. Um, looking for the musical instrument, uh -huh. and then uh, you you have to read the sad in, uh, instructions, mm -hmm. and then you have to read the full instructions. So that's the kind of paradox. That paradox. I, yeah, uh -huh. I I made a sentence. Looks uh -huh. like a paradox. So the finally the people. Um, cannot wear this kind of, th uh, uh -huh. this dress. So, so when people wear it, they have, to go for, they have to go for that whole process? Yes, whole process. And then finally, uh -huh. it's like circulations of the world, uh -huh. so paradox. So people cannot wear this dress huh. without circulation. There's no cheating, is there? <laughs> no. Oh, that's very important. Okay, let's first bring another model on. Okay. What's, what's the next thing going to be? Okay, next one. Is uh, 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 uh. okay. Next one is a counterfeit chemical synthesis. A what? Chemical synthesis. Okay, chemical synthesis. <laughs> synthesis. Synthesis. Yes. And this one is mm -hmm. um, how do you say? Like uh, I like very fake things, like fake diamond, fake fur, and fake silk. Fake velvet, everything is really fake. Why do you like fake? Um, because fake is uh, pretend to be real, I think. Oh. I think that point is very mysterious. Uh -huh. And uh, nobody say the truth. Is this yeah. like something you follow day to day? This this sort of philosophy of fake and truth? What what's mean? Well, meaning like, um, do you see everything in it as fake and truth? Like in the, mm -hmm. in the strict catalog, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. categories. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Yeah. How, how very interesting. Yeah. Hmm. So what, okay, what, what's the fabric? What's, what is it made of? The satin mm -hmm. and cotton velvet mm -hmm. and some fake, fake jewelry mm -hmm. and wire, mm -hmm. something like that. And flesh, right? The models. Mm -hmm. Some flesh. Mm -hmm. That's great. Okay, mm -hmm. then what's, uh, what's, what's the uh, third one? The oh, third one. This one. Mm, the next one is Eternity Intermission. Eternity Intermission. Yes. Okay. Um, this skirt has a cotton uh -huh. and it's 
it can be closed or open. Uh -huh. And uh, I uh, draw some the ballet set inside of the skirt. Uh -huh. And uh, mm, I like theater very much. So uh -huh. the concept of my dress is like uh, if I like something like a for instance this one I like really like um, ballet set and uh, the feeling of the theater. Uh -huh. So if I like something I try to be uh, uh, the things uh -huh. I really like. So I, I want to make a something, um, how can I say, uh, if I like something, I want to be like that itself. Uh -huh. So I want to be an object. You want to be an object? Object. Uh -huh. So that point is very um, exactly the same things as Loza, my friends, uh -huh. does right now. Uh -huh. So, and uh, this uh, this one has a uh, I like theater, so uh -huh. I want to be a theater itself. Uh -huh. So this is like equipment to be a theater. Well, I think it's kind of modern because it's sort of like a portable theater. Yeah, something like that. Yeah. And, and, and tickets are cheaper than theater, <laughs> aren't they? <laughs> yes. Oh, flea, oh. admission flea. Admission. Mm -hmm. oh. There's no ushers or anything like that. Mm -hmm. <laughs> huh, that's very nice. That's very interesting. Um, when we talk about your costume, you, do you, does, when somebody wears it, do their ego, their mm -hmm. personality, do they disappear when the costume comes out? Um, that's very difficult. It depends on the person, of course. Uh -huh. But um, I forget about the people when I make this kind of costume. So I try to be a independent. Uh -huh. the, uh, and uh, it doesn't matter who wearing it like that. Well, let's go for the next costume. Okay. Because we have like about, what, 500, 600 <laughs> more to go? I have uh, 1,000 more. 1,000? Yeah. This is the epic tea with Ta show. <laughs> it doesn't end. Okay, next one is a uh, evaporated body. Mm -hmm. And this one is uh, uh, usually people want mm -hmm. to hide some important point mm -hmm. of the body, mm -hmm. but this is complete opposite, like mm -hmm. opposite side of bikini. Uh -huh. And uh, so, how can I explain? So you have like three openings where it's normally you don't see in the yes, dress. Yes, yes. So even though people wear this dress, uh -huh. we can see through. Mm -hmm. oh. Well, yeah. she's wearing underwear, but you, do you recommend normally people should not wear underwear? <laughs> right? We're only doing it for TV. <laughs> yeah, this is for TV. Usually people wear it naked. Uh huh. Yeah. <laughs> in Tokyo, I oh. mean. Um, and it's kind of interesting because you 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 sh you prefer showing the nakedness in the dress. Mm-hmm. And um, where do you get these concepts from? Who, who who like influence you in your in this line of thinking? Um, many people, many environment, and uh, I think uh, the clothing is very practical for me. Uh huh. Instead of to, I used to draw or something, uh -huh. and uh, I have to carry. Uh -huh. My, if I want to, to show to the people my stuff, uh -huh. and I have to carry my piece. But if, if it's clothing, uh -huh. I just wear it. Well, don't and you I usually have like when you show? Don't you have like? Don't, aren't you always surrounded by six or seven models? No, no. I mean, I can wear by myself. I could have sworn when I first met you, you had like six or seven girls with you. <laughs> I thought there was like a line of them. <laughs> That's a good that idea. That was somebody else. That's a good idea. I thought that was you. I, I try to the next time. Well, what's the next costume? Next one. Oh, I think we, oh, we finish, right? Yeah, we finish. Th they all died? <laughs> 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 well, let me ask you, are you more influenced by, um, besides like fashion, are you influenced by other mediums? For instance, like film or theater? Well, a thousand, thousand. I can tell the Pacific names. Well, because for instance, some of the costuming looks sort of uh, reminds me of sort of like Jean Cocteau. Oh, yeah, 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 I like him. And are you are you influenced by any period of history? Because um, because your clothes have a, has history, and yeah. and and modern at the same time. Mm hmm But I don't. Um, well, how can I explain? Um, I you don't can't like explain in English. Say it in Japanese. <laughs> <laughs> 
<laughs> Do I study Japanese for many years? Do you? Oh, yeah. Uh, say something. <laughs> Sayonara. <laughs> oh, that's a sad word. Oh, ciao. Ciao is Italian. Oh, well, I was raised in an in a neighbor, Italian neighborhood in, in Japan. I'm <laughs> oh, sorry. It's okay. Also, oh, anyway, back to the business. Mm -hmm. um, so I was wondering, because I, I wonder, when, when did you first realize you want to do costuming? When did you want to, what, when did costuming became your medium? I think two years ago. Really? Mm-hmm. And at the time, I like fashion and I like art, mm -hmm. so I want to put them together. And these costumes are all one of a kind. They're not, they're not, there's no, you, I mean, somebody can't go to a store and buy these no, costumes. No, I, uh, that point is very different from the usual designer. Yes. I try to be not design. I want to make my piece just one, uh -huh. and I don't want to sell in a boutique or something like that, uh -huh. because my piece is very, very, a lot of meaning, uh -huh. and very symbolic, or, uh -huh. Um, I think it's not like a um, usual commercial stuff. Uh -huh. So I th I think I want to divide uh -huh. uh, that field. Huh. So um, so each so actually each costume is is extremely important to you. It's very because yeah. each costume has a high concept. Yeah, very much. Huh. So it takes a long time to decide the concept itself, uh -huh. and then I have to. I start to sew or to making faces. And did you make your dashing outfit? Me? Yes. Right did now? you want to know? Yes. Yeah. It's very nice. Thank you. Yes, thank you. <laughs> <laughs> For instance, like no, your your symbols here. Mm -hmm. Does are those have like a definite like um, are they important to you as symbols? Yes, those are my favorite things. Like uh, I mean, the woman needs mm -hmm. these kind of things. Mm -hmm. At, uh, I mean, mentally, mm -hmm. like a globe or wedding mm -hmm. umbrella or something like that. Are you, are you ever interested in designing something for a male, for men? For male? Yeah, boys. Mm. Hmm. I'm not interested in that that kind of stuff because no? um, never. Never. Ever. I mean, I mean, um, I like. Um, Never such an extreme. <laughs> I like man is a very sophisticated mm -hmm. style. Mm -hmm. My personal opinion. Mm -hmm. So I'm not interested in the sophisticated. Thank you. So I don't want to try to not to make a sophisticated. Mm -hmm. Well, I have you know a. You know what I mean. I absolutely, but I have another video to show. Okay. Uh, by a by a friend named Squid. <laughs> Okay. And it's two videos she made recently, and um, I think we should play it. Mm -hmm. If that's okay with you. Sure. Thank you very much. Oh, let me think.
Tom Landry, whoa mama. Gee, Mr. Landry, yes I do know a few rope tricks, and I'd be honored to show them to you. Oh, I thank you, Coach Landry, and you know what they say, eyes are the window to your soul. Why, thank you, Coach, and I've always liked your glasses, too. Oh, I'm sorry, young lady, but the cowboys have gone back to Dallas. And what happened to the world? Bye. The world is over. We have to go. Thank you so much. Thank you. Bye-bye. Bye-bye. Adios, amigoettes, amigo. So long. Sayonara. Ciao. Farewell. Get lost. Goodbye.